Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track here. Today I am going to do a video review of one of the most anticipated products, the Scorpion EXO 1000 helmet. There have been rumblings of its existence all the way back to February of 2007. We received ours, I would say, late 07, sometime in October. We would ordered quite a few, sold through them real fast, like I said, much anticipated. This is part one of a two-part video. This helmet, we, there's so much information. There's so many things that we want to explain to you guys. We're going to do it in two pieces. Piece one, which we're doing right now, is going to be features and benefits. Part two, I'm going to completely disassemble the EXO 1000, give you guys the keys to the kingdom, show you all the technology from the inside out instead of the outside in. Let's just talk a little bit about the shell shape. Completely different from the EXO 700 and 400, okay? I'm going to give you guys a nice 360. Still images do not do this helmet justice. You need to see it in its entirety. I'm going to tilt just a little bit here. What I'm hoping to pick up is these two ridges here in the shell. Hopefully the camera's grabbing those. What they've done in design with this new top diffuser and these ridges here, Scorpion tunes all their stuff in an air tunnel, in a wind tunnel to try and get a desired result. That's what these are here for. Not only do they look cool, this helmet works. Let's talk about some of the features, the venting, how it feels, so on and so forth. But first, I'm going to tease you guys a little bit and let you know that the two groundbreaking features this helmet offers. Number one, it is a drop-down tinted visor. It's retractable. Down, up, you don't need to take and have a tinted visor and then a clear visor in your backpack if you like to go for long rides. This helmet's going to have you covered to be able to use a drop-down visor. Feature two, never heard of anyone that's offered this short of Scorpion, is the pump-up cheek pad system. How many of you out there have purchased a helmet, you've worn it for six months, eight months, you know what, you're just not really quite happy with the fit, perhaps the padding's broken down just a little bit. That problem is solved with the pump-up cheek system. Like I said, we're going to get to that. Let's start off with the helmet shield. It uses the standard issue for Scorpion, the Everclear fog-free visor. When I say fog-free, I don't mean nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Yeah, I just bought a new helmet with a fog-free visor. The first time I put it on, I go outside and I ride, and it's kind of chilly. Next thing you know, the thing's so fogged up I can't see outside. It works. That's the end of that. A couple of things they've changed with this. With the EXO 700 and the EXO 400 helmets, you couldn't just crack the visor to ride in it. The first detent was high almost like this, so you didn't have that option. They recognize that, some folks like to ride that way, and they've added a little lever right here that cracks the visor just a little bit, holds it in that position, that's a nice feature. Personally, for my taste, when you have a helmet that vents like this with a fog-free visor, I don't know how necessary that may really be. This works in two directions. Pull it up, it locks the shield. That's a nice benefit, it's a safety feature. In terms of removal and installation, I'm going to show you that real quick. It's the same thing they've worked with for the last couple of years. It's the speed shift shield change mechanism. Just turn the twist grips, comes right off, and it goes back on just as easy as it came off. Piece of cake. Let's talk ventilation now. Chin vent. Push down for open, push back up for close. I like the ridge they have here at the bottom. When I rode in the helmet, understand I've only taken a short ride so far, just a few miles. It's kind of cold here in Michigan. I was able to do this with my gloves and feel it. I like that. Good design. We've got an extractor vent here on either side of the helmet. These are always open. Remember, air comes in, air must go out. These are always on. Draws the air that came in back out. That's how we keep it cool inside. Forehead vent. Once again, a nice ridge. I could feel this with my gloves and actuate it while riding. Pull up. For open, down for closed. Now we move to the brand new top diffuser. Push down in the back, they're open. Push forward, they're closed. Side view here exposes this large ridge. Once again, I could feel this through the gloves so I could do that while I was on the bike. At the back of this diffuser, we have a vent that can be closed and opened. Okay, that one can be adjusted. Back here on the top of the neck roll, we have two extractor vents, exhaust vents, that are always open. Once again, air in, air out. Beautiful thing. Now, let's talk about the liner. A little extra detail here with the 1000. Got like some vinyl sewn into it here, some nice detail on the outside. I like that. Each one of the 1000s comes with an aero skirt 
stock. You do not need to purchase a separate piece. Nice feature. We found these very beneficial on the 400 and the 700. Quick wick material moves the moisture away from your head, keeps your head dry, and it works in concert with the strong ventilation this helmet offers to make it comfortable when it's hot. That's important. Now, we're going to show a little bit here of the pump up cheek system. We've got an air bladder right here. Simply push it to get it to the desired position. And if you want to loosen it up just a little bit, there's a release valve right here. Just push in, lets the air out. We're going to cover that more in part two. Remember that. Now, for the drop down tinted screen, real simple. There's a lever on the side. I was able to do this on the motorcycle as well, which I think is important. You know, you get in a situation where it's dusk, you want to make a change, all you got to do is reach up. Each one of the EXO 1000s also comes as stock with a breath deflector. This is the Apollo version. It's the graphic model for the EXO 1000. It is available in a few different colors. The one I hold here is the Apollo Blue. We've got Apollo Dark Silver, Apollo Light Silver, and Apollo White. Those all sell for $329.95. We also have some solids. The ever popular Matte Black from Scorpion. They're the ones that kind of started the whole Matte Black thing. That's a awesome looking helmet. We've got the gloss black, we've got light silver and dark silver as well. They sell a few dollars less than the 329. I think it's like 309.95. We deliver all the Scorpion product here for free to your door insured FedEx ground. Stay tuned for part two. I'm going to take one apart, give you the keys to the kingdom, show you what it looks like from the inside out.